Heather from The Butterfly Effect, Plant-Based Weight Loss. And Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook. Michelle from Living Well with Michelle, Plant-Based Yogi Teacher. And we are here in Chef AJ's gorgeous mm -hmm. kitchen. Beautiful. And coming to you with a great vegan recipe. My buddies, Tammy and Michelle, have never made vegan sushi. And so I'm going to teach them how to make it, and I'm going to teach you too. So it's super easy. Let's get started. And get excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's really yummy. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need four cups of long grain brown rice. And I like Lundberg brand organic, but you can use whichever kind you want. And then five cups of water. And you would make that in the Instant Pot um, with the four cups of rice, five cups of water, 22 minutes on normal high pressure, uh -huh. manual high pressure, and then you're just gonna let it come down to room temperature on its own. Easy enough. Normal pressure <laughs> on its own. And then we're, the next thing we're gonna need is some rice vinegar. This is Morikan rice vinegar, and it has, um, no seasoning in it. You want to be careful when you're buying rice vinegar right. that you okay. don't get any that has any sugar or salt in it. You want just the brewed rice vinegar. And I'm going to be adding a cup of that. So Let's always check your side. ingredients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't get what you don't want. So one cup is going to go in here. And now, I'm just... This morning we went shopping and we found these products at the local Whole Foods. So, yes, very easy to find. I found them in just regular grocery, grocery stores, stores that right. weren't Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. Absolutely. Okay, and so I'm just gonna incorporate that vinegar into my rice. And normally you want your rice dry and light and fluffy, not with sushi. The wetter, the better is almost oh, what- I like um, that. Yeah, cute. the wetter, the, the better. better. Mm -hmm. Cute. Is almost your <laughs> mantra with sushi, okay? So then the next thing that we're gonna need is some sushi nori. This one is called Gimme Organic, um, and this one is Emerald Cove. I've used both of these, and I'm just honestly wanting to try them both out to see which one I like the best. Nice. So I'm gonna give myself a sheet of nori, and I'm gonna give one to my buddies here. You wanna use it, you'll, you probably can't see, I don't know if we can oh, see yeah. on camera, but it's got some score lines and you want those horizontal, okay? And does face it face up or down? Yeah, does it matter? Yes. So you want the smoother, smoother side down and the bumpy side up towards okay. you. Okay, okay. Good. And I don't think it really matters, but that's just always the way I've done it. So let's be safe. <laughs> Thank you. So again, it's worked out this way, so we'll do it that way. The smooth side down and the yes. bumpy where you can see the score. Exactly, up. and you want these horizontal. Oh. And are these always the um, the same size? Are they always yes. that size? Yes, they are always that size. Okay, cool. Which is great. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to. So I think what would it be best if I just made one? Yeah, and then do. You guys yeah. Try it yeah, and then I can get out of your way. Yeah. Okay. You make one. And then so watch. I'm going to take about oh, one scoop of oh, this yeah. rice, which I think is about a half a cup scoop, and I think it's just about perfect. Oh. Okay. And you want to just put it right in, and you're going to. I'm going to use. It's fun to be in a chef's kitchen because I'm going to use this offset spatula that. She has I mean, all it's the just tools. a regular spatula. Yeah. Right. But you want to spread your rice out. You could use a, a butter knife. Or Absolutely. Fine. Or your spatula. hands. Spatula. <laughs> I have I have used my hands. I have used a spatula. We all have clean, dry hands, which yes. is you want to make sure that your mat that you're rolling on is not wet because the nori will react to the moisture. Mm -hmm. And that's why you want your rice warm. It's important that your rice okay. is at least warm. Can be hot, it's fine, but warm is good because it's going to help soften that okay. and make it pliable mm -hmm. and easy to so roll. So you can roll it. Okay. Okay. So you want to eat the rice short after, after it's it's still warm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Leave it and it's warming. Cold. Yes, perfect. Okay. Um, definitely if you have it in the refrigerator, you wanna will want to heat it back up. Yep. All right. Now it's very simple. You can use any ingredients um, to make your sushi, but I like to use um, a little bit of grated carrot and I'm simply gonna put it in a row, a cute little row here, all cute. along. You have to get the cute yes. portion in. <laughs> if you don't get it cute, it won't be good. And then these are cucumbers that we did with oh. this cool tool. Michelle, do you wanna try out that cool tool? 
Oh, all right. This one? Yeah. yeah okay. So that's a With cucumber. This. We have a cucumber over there. Okay. And just act like you're peeling the cucumber. Okay. Sorry. Right. You probably should have done that before. No, no. I just thought it was so right. cool. I wanted you to have so, a chance to try it. Okay. So I'm just going to, as if I were right. peeling it. Mm -hmm. just oh. It Oh. There you go. And you do want to stay away from the seeds. Okay. So keep okay. turning your cucumber so you don't really get seeds. Perfect. Great. All right. Tammy, nice. have you tried one of those? I did. I tried and, 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 then, yeah. Yeah. and then they pull apart like these are little julienne. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's so easy. Isn't okay. that neat? And these could just be almost uh, as an option for spaghettis in yeah. place of. Like exactly. Yeah. I you think do they make zucchini. it almost like um. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had those cellophane clear yes. noodles? Yes. Yes. It's a lot like that. I've heard so, people so call easy. them poodles. This is one I don't have, so that's fine. Maybe another tool in the future for the kitchen. Okay. Thank so you. now okay. we just need one more thing Ooh. for our sushi, and that is mm -hmm. roasted sweet potato. So this is a yes. I'm going to have a little bit more. This is a Hannah yam, and it's sweet and dry. And what this is taking the place of is avocado, which is something that tastes good, but has a lot of fat. Right. But what we're looking for is that creamy texture. And also when you buy sushi at a normal sushi restaurant, they add sugar to the rice. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds cuckoo, but they do. And so we're going to get a little bit of that sweet taste from the sweet potato without putting sugar. Nice. Because that, how sneaky, you know, that who knew they were adding sugar, sugar. Yeah, well, into the sushi. It's but it's one, of those, it's one of those, you know, it, receptors that we fall into the pleasure trap. So Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So that's exactly what you're going to do. Okay. You're just going to put it all. All right. There we go. Oh, and now, now all we have right to do is yeah. roll it up. Yeah. What are we so have to do now? So easy. Get your fingers wet. So have a little bowl of water. I've got a little bowl of water here. Get your fingers wet and you're going to generously wet the top and the bottom of your nori. Okay. Nice. And then you're just going to roll it towards you much like you would roll a sleeping bag or something, but be gentle because it does tear. So you're kind of tucking with your thumbs while you're rolling your nori. And just take your time. There's no hurry. And some okay. of you maybe have made wraps with greens, collard greens, or similar. And think of it's it maybe very rolling. similar. Do you it want sure to is. It just to see how pretty. It yes. Is. Um, okay. And mm -hmm. the knife is right there. Yeah. So if you so you have to decide whether or not you are going to um, cut these. I like to eat them honestly like this, almost like a burrito, mm -hmm. because it's just. I'm a busy mom and I can't always be bothered. And I also think it looks really pretty on a plate, you know, when you stop them all. Sure. But I'm gonna show you how we're used to sushi being in small pieces. So that's how you would do it. So the main thing is that you wanna keep your knife clean in between. Okay. And so, you know what, maybe, why don't we, um, I think it'll be easier when Michelle does it because she can rinse her knife in between each time. Oh, okay. but I think it's well, important to either have a serrated knife or one uh -huh. of those sinchukus. I think they're called. Oh, okay. All right. So, and just think how pretty this could be for oh. uh, some part party yeah. or festivity or potluck um, or appetizer, yes, a beautiful appetizer, and for and anyone, those pretty that, right? colors. I know some in, moms, even in our our. Our folks or family and friends that are non whole food plant based SOS. Food. They're never going to so, know no. that it's good yeah. for well, you. Well, and kids like yeah. this too. Your food. And it's like, so yeah. you don't mind your giving food. my sure. knife a rinse? I know. So there's See, some you'll start that... to mess up if you don't keep getting your knife wet. Right. You got to get that starch off there because we got a little starch from the rice. Perfect. Thank you. Sure. Okay. So I will often make my burrito, I call them burritos, mm -hmm. sushi ritos or whatever. <laughs> I like sushi it. ritos. I yes, like this is fusion cuisine. You can do a little something. How pretty cute, that like looks. Some Beautiful. on the side. So um, let me ask you this. If yeah, a lot of people can't get the Hannah yams. You know, they're you just can not use sold. Any so can you use a regular you sweet sure potato? Can. You sure can. You sure can. Okay. A my garnet. preference is for the Hannah or for the Japanese sweet mm -hmm. potato, the Murasaki's. I think these are my favorite, and then the Japanese are my next favorite, okay. ironically, because we're making sushi, which is a Japanese food. Yeah. But um, 
I do think that, let's see, that one would be that way, and that one would be that way. That's um, pretty. That's really pretty. Yeah. So, um, but yes, any kind of sweet potato will work. And if you're not on a low fat diet, you know, the traditional avocado is always sure. a people pleaser for kids or people who can, who are allowed to have a little bit more fat. All right. What girls. about like a little piece of mango? Would that work? Oh, that would be delicious. Yeah. Really? The sky is the limit. And know that you really can put sushi. any other ingredients that you like, okay. different are vegetables. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off. I think eventually all three of us will, but okay. I'm going to give you guys each a chance. So you want about one scoop of well, rice. I want to give her a bigger um, little space. Like, let me scoot out of here. Right, way. so I got the small one here, but that's okay. That's true. We could use, how about if we use that yeah. cutting board? We'll switcheroo. Yeah, oh, okay. let's do. There, go. Let's there we this. go. Perfect. All right. Okay. Give us more space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay, each so put a, one scoop of rice. A generous scoop is good. That's pretty good. Perfect. And then one for Michelle. Okay. Ooh. Is it too hot for you to hold? No, Danny? no, it's okay. not. The top's not hot. All right. The bottom of the pot's hot, but not the top. Perfect. Thank you. And we'll just put that back. I'll give me one. Yep. Thank you. There we You're go. Welcome. This is good too. All right. That works too. Yeah. Okay. All of these okay. things will work. All right. Remember to leave about an inch at the top and an inch at the bottom. That's where that scoring oh, helps use, with, too. Can I use more rice? You, you sure think? can, but you want to be careful. It's yeah, really I'm gonna, tempting I'm gonna... to over... Okay, would yeah. that be... Fill? More, would more be too much? I think you could use a little bit more rice. Okay. Because it's... That's about... A little thin. That's about right. So here's some more rice. You might not want to use all of it. Maybe okay. both you and Michelle could... Use a little bit of that. Okay. I know. I was afraid to take too more? much. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, There's a real good. temptation. I don't know about you guys, but with burritos and stuff, I always tend to overfill them and right. they yeah. don't want right. to stay inside. Um, there's a real temptation to overfill it, but you don't, there's no need to overfill it. Yeah, I like to buy these sometimes from the deli at, at Whole Foods, but that's really expensive. Yes. So it's, to be able to make so them at cheap. home, right? Yes, it's so Plus cheap. Plus it's elegant. And I, honestly, even at Whole Foods, they tell me they put sugar and... Oh, uh, you have to really look at those ingredients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, um, I've seen okay. this as well, that maybe we could do the grain as quinoa. Oh, I love you that know? idea. Yeah, oh, really, whatever you have. That's a good yeah. idea. Just use it when it's hot, so mm -hmm. it'll be kind of sticky. Yes. Yeah. It definitely needs to be sticky. And you okay. know, again, as uh, Tammy and Heather were saying, any ingredients, the sky's the limit, maybe red cabbage, whatever Ooh, you like. Uh -huh. Something yummy. You know, something that crunch in it. Do you want me to reach you some? And then sure. we want to make it cute, as Heather Give said. Me a couple cucumbers. You know. There we go. Is that too much? Perfect. Or no, that's zucchini, perfect. summer squash. You know, think of the things that you like, but also I've try also, to try to experiment. Absolutely. And I've also seen it where people will um, make it so that the ends hang out on purpose because that looks yeah. really pretty too. Oh, okay. Or I was it's thinking like putting a few pieces of carrot, making them come out. Here. Getting a little. What yeah. I did when I cut the potato, you guys, is I just kind of cut long strips. Mm -hmm. um, and as you can see, I didn't even bother to peel it, but we're not using the peel. We're just using the filling. And you can make it as thick as you want. Or Get in just there, a Michelle. Bit. All right. <laughs> Grab some of that See. potato action. You know, it'd be kind of fun at a get together to do a yeah. let everybody make their own a group. Yes, sushi. you know, you know kids set love up, sushi. Set up an assembly line and it let everybody How fun make their that own. Would be. And if they don't like the seaweed part, you can always give yeah. them just like the yeah. rice and veggies and things like that. And they like to. Um, I've done it where they put um, a rice and then they make a little face oh, on it. Oh, cute! Cute. Now All this right. will be the true test. The roll. Yes. Let's see what we can do. So roll those. Roll your All little right. sleeping bags, girls. Roll those sushi. The up. sleeping bags. Our sleeping bags sushi roll. <laughs> okay. It's a good visual, though. A good. It just reminds good. you that you know what to do. It's just like when you're rolling a sleeping bag, you have to kind of go. Or slow your yoga mat. Roll yeah. your yoga <laughs> mat. I love it. Roll there those yoga go. mats, ladies. That works. You know, and think about being and keep fit tucking in the with kitchen, your thumbs right? in the middle while uh -huh. you're rolling with your fingers on the sides. And this smells really good. I wish you guys it does. could smell it. Yes. Can you smell it you know, already? Because the rice is warm, it has warmed up that nori sheet, mm -hmm. and the aroma is really pleasant. And sometimes you need to kind of pull your seaweed down, you know, to make a real tight seal. 
Oh, this is so, so I'm just kind of I'm kind of impressed with myself. Right? <laughs> and was that hard? Not at all. You know, I've seen Super like easy. where wow. there was some kit that you had to buy to make sushi or I've I seen special bamboo mats. I That's what I was gonna all ask these you. And I have never been able to figure out why would you need to do that. I you bought, know, I bought that bamboo. I know <laughs> because, I, because I wanted I mean, to try making them. I am, so I, I do I not it. claim to be, you know, a real sushi chef, but I, I was really that. Cool, right? I was actually like, nervous about the roll. I know, coming right? Up. But it turned out good. I feel so. like I really made mine huge. Well, this was okay. a lot of fun. I want oh, to thank you it. so much. All right, girls. Now, do you know, ever the taste test? Are we going to cut it? Yes. And you, oh yeah, cut them at an angle. That's pretty too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does look pretty. See what I mean? You yes. have to really. Yeah. You do have to pull off. See, that's what you smash. have to be uh, fit in the kitchen, folks. Be mindful. <laughs> yes. Got to be strong. You have to saw and like try not to press, but yes. mostly like yeah. Oh, there is kind of a resistance. Yep. Yep. Thank you so oh, much, Heather. Oh, how pretty is that? Come you on. are so welcome. Should we have our taste test? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's, let's do. Taste good. Okay. Why not? Everybody, Heather. grab one. All right. Ready? Yeah. To right. your help. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See Let's you next taste time. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I know what we're having. <laughs> this is like, <lunch. laughs> this is so good. Thank you, Heather. You're so welcome. It's fine. Love you guys. Yeah. Love you too. Love you. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Try Bye. it. Bye, guys. Mmm. You won't care um, that we dirtied up your kitchen now. It's yeah. Completely compliant. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm. Mm. So good. It's, that's mine. So we're just <laughs> yeah, we've got plenty. This is AJ's plate. I'm Chef AJ, and I approve this sushi. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good, right? It works. And it's easy to make, too. Yum. Thank you for letting us use your kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe I should just write it out. And tell you what it's yeah, you should. It's got to be plant based, though. So it's free. Yeah, it's delicious. Perfect kitchen for doing cooking videos, too. It's yeah. so amazing. It comes with a director. Yeah.